In this tutorial I'll show you how to make this simple model of a car. It's roughly based on a Wings 3D tutorial. Zoom in with the mouse wheel, press S to scale followed by Z or Z, squash that down, 0.36 and enter. S to scale followed by X and I'm going to enter a value of 0.8 and enter go into edit mode and face select mode select the left face E to extrude 1 and enter drag with the middle mouse button select the opposite face E to extrude 0.5 and enter select the top face E to extrude 0.5 and enter press S to scale followed by Y for the Y direction taper that in 0.6 and enter, S to scale X and taper that in 0.9 and enter, go into edge select mode, select the top front edge, G to grab followed by Y and move that 0.2 and enter. I'm going to add some loop cuts, click loop cut and slide. As I approach a side horizontal edge I'm going to press 3 on the keyboard and click the mouse to give me 3 loop cuts. Loop cut and slide, approach a side vertical edge, press 2 on the keyboard, click the mouse. I'm going to select an edge in the wheel arch area. I'm going to drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, hold down shift and select an edge on the underside. Drag with the middle mouse button, hold down shift and select the opposite edge. Press delete on the keyboard, delete vertices. Again rotating the view. I'm going to go into vertex select mode, select a vertex, hold down shift and select three other vertices. I'm going to the mesh menu, faces, make face and notice the shortcut key is F. I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget off. I'm going to rotate the view, select a vertex, hold down shift, select three other vertices, press F. Rotate the view a little bit, select a vertex, hold down shift, select three other vertices, press F, and so on. Select a vertex, hold down shift, select three other vertices, press F, rotate the view, select a vertex, hold down shift, select three other vertices, press F, and finally select a vertex, hold down shift, select three other vertices, press F. Dragging with the middle mouse button, I'm going to add some loop cuts to the back of the car. I'm clicking loop cut and slide and approaching from the roof and clicking and sliding. Now look at the value in the bottom left hand corner. Is it positive or negative? This time it's negative, so I'm going to enter minus 0.95. I'm going to loop cut and slide, same loop cut, click and slide, look at its value. This time it's positive, 0.76 and enter. I'm going to move some edges, so I'm going into edge select mode and select the edges, hold down shift, rotate the view, hold down shift, rotate the view and get the opposite edges, hold down shift, G to grab, Y for the Y direction, move those edges, I'm going to enter 0.19 and enter. Now I'm going to select an edge in the wheel arch area hold down shift and select rotate and select the opposite edge this is just as we did for the front delete vertices and now we have to fill the hole just as we did for the front I'll just do one face and leave you to do the rest go into vertex select mode select a vertex hold down shift select three other vertices and press F to make face I'm going to add one more loop cut approach from the roof click and slide it's negative so I'm going to enter minus 0.72 and enter I'm going to go into face select mode and select a face from the base of the wheel arch press G to grab and Y for the Y direction and move that back minus 0.1 and enter do the same for the opposite face G to grab Y for the Y direction and it's 0.1 and enter I'm going to go into edge select mode, select the edge at the top of the wheel arch, 
press G to grab Z or Z for the Z or Z direction, move that up, 0 0.04 and enter. Now you have to do exactly the same for the front wheel arch. Dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, I'm going to go to loop cut and slide and put a loop cut right through the middle of the car, clicking the mouse twice. I'm going to select the front edges, hold down shift, press G to grab, Y for the Y direction, and I'm going to enter a value of minus 0.1. I'm going to select a series of edges, hold down shift, G to grab, Y for the Y direction, and minus 0.1 again. And in the rear windscreen, I'm going to select the edge, G to grab, Y for the Y direction, this time 0.1, and enter. I'm going to add a loop cut, click twice, either side of the centre line, click twice. Now that I've made the basic shape of the car, I'm going to add the subdivision surface modifier. I'm clicking the modifiers button, add modifier subdivision surface. I'm going to change the level of subdivision to 2. The subdivision surface modifier rounds off edges. To square them back up, I'm going to add loop cuts. I'm going to square up the side of the car. Now I want fairly square wheel arches, so I'm going fairly near to the edge. Do the same for the other side. Loop cut and slide. For the middle of the car, loop cut and slide. Slide that up and down. The front bottom, slide that down to square it off. Same at the back. And in the middle. And finally, a bit of personal choice. How rounded do you want the top of the car? I'm going to call that the end of part one of the tutorial. I'm going to add the wheels and some colour in part two of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and see you in part two.